Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us here on Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be reacting to Built Different, Built Stupid from Left 4 Dead 2. I have seen um, a few things from Left 4 Dead, which I did enjoy. I am very excited to see the continuation of this particular uh, property. Uh, for Just so you know, though, if you were not aware, we do have live content every single day of the week. It is on Twitch. The link is in the description below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe there. Make sure you're also liking and subscribing to our other videos, our other content on the channel. There are other people who are amazing on this channel. That's just me. Um, but for right now, let's go and check out Built Different, Built Stupid. I am very excited to see what this is gonna hold in store for me. Let's go. Just so you know, this video is sponsored by Opera GX. I'll tell you more in just a couple minutes. Put the gnome away, Master Chief. You don't need it. You don't I'm need it. It's a burger. stupid achievement. Let him finish the fight. Oh my god, is that canon? That the Arkham Knight saved Master Chief from an Elmo <laughs> while carrying a gnome for the achievement? That's okay. like the worst YouTube clickbait title you could ever imagine. Arkham Knight saves Master Chief from Elmo in front of Shrek while carrying no? Not clickbait, gone wild. Oh my god. Sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? Buy a Ridge uh -huh. Wallet? Man, I didn't download Source, babe! I'm stuck! Oh no. Welcome to the greatest horde shooter ever, Left 4 Dead 2. Game where, oh, you know what? I think I read that wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one again. Welcome to the second greatest horde shooter ever, Left 4 Dead 2. A game that usually starts like, oh, yeah, shooting zombies with guns is fun. And yeah. usually ends like, can't believe we shot Yoshi with a Smith & Wesson 500. <laughs> I'll admit- I love these games that you can just mod. Like, that's just so fun. That is terribly enjoyable. You can just mod everything and just make it, yeah, you can shoot Yoshi if you want to, or sa save Master Chief from Elmo while holding a gnome, which is also beautiful. My dumb shit characterization of the game might be a little deranged given the number of mods I run. Left 4 Dead 2 is a game where Otis from Barnyard kills <laughs> Dallas and me too. You fucking Benedict Arnold, I'm riding with a turncoat. But if you'd like to see some of the worst mods ever made. Stop yes, shoving me, you give it to played me. Played by some of the best players to ever play, and we're talking skip prom to grind Sigma male level players. Don't care. Fuck you, Catherine. Prom probably sucked anyway. I was grinding Left 4 Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to tell you about <laughs> I'd love to tell you about Left 4 Dead 2. You gotta explain this to the world, Magic. Just before we get into things, thank you to Opera GX okay. for sponsoring this video. The world's first gaming web browser that's so awesome, it makes me want to explore. You see, unlike other web browsers that steal your computer's RAM and resources, give me your RAM! Get away from me, you goddamn d! It has GX control that allows you to limit how much RAM, CPU, and bandwidth it's using so gaming and browsing simultaneously doesn't set your computer on fire. And unlike other browsers that flashbang you with white backgrounds every time you open the- what other browsers Customize is he talking the about? Force dark mode on every page, so you won't have to visit the eye doctor anymore. Though he is a pretty cool guy. Yavos. It's even got. I need to visit the eye doctor constantly because my vision is at negative twelve, baby. Do you know anyone blinder than me? It's possible, but unlikely. Dank integrations like GX Player for your favorite music service, Twitch to see when your favorite streamers are live, and Discord for anybody sliding and or stampeding into your DMs. <laughs> I know change is hard, but Opera makes it easy with quick import to bring all your settings like bookmarks and passwords over from Chrome and even a mobile version for syncing files, videos, and links. <laughs> Download Opera GX via the link below and get my very own custom color theme and background so you can browse and game like never before. For. I'm no astronaut, but that sounds like a pretty smart idea. Thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video and getting me away from Google Chrome. Also, okay, let me just say, the this guy, his videos, the amount of care that goes into them is absolutely mind blowing, and the um, like his ability to just his his animations are great, his character is great. I. I'm just always impressed, always impressed, uh, especially by the little side things that are clearly not taken from the game that he has done outside of it. It's I'm blown away. I wish I was that talented about it, anything. Left 4 Dead 2 is a game where four survivors of a zombie apocalypse rushing to catch a helicopter evac are, you guessed it, 
Oh shit. Uh, in trouble. Left for dead. Yes. <laughs> oh. Left for dead. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. I thought they were supposed to be getting us out of this shit. Okay. Helicopters don't come back when you yell at them. Valuable <laughs> lesson. You three tuck that away for later. Now grab a weapon and follow me. This goddamn building's on fire. Which means fighting your way out in search of a new salvation is your only option. Whether that be a busted ass boat, the military, or maybe even another helicopter. Looks like the Whirly Bird was heading to the mall across town. Helicopter! It is a helicopter! You call that thing a Whirly Bird one more time, I'll beat you so bad, your sister's gonna wish she never gave birth to you. Obviously, this isn't a dream team of zombie killers, but at least you've got Coach, the dependable positive one that's always ready to get a cheeseburger or give some words of encouragement. Come on now, let's just get through this shit. Rochelle, the news producer, is cut from the same friendly and considerate cloth who's probably the greatest woman on Earth because she's probably the only woman left on Earth. Hey, so, I'm here. Ellis the mechanic is a storytelling youngster that most people find dummy stupid, but I beg to differ. You say naive, I say useful in an apocalypse. Just a car. Just a car? You need bait. You do need bait in an apocalypse and someone who's willing to be reckless and be the person who goes out first. You need that person. That's like saying the Mona Lisa is just a sculpture or shit, man. That's like saying Jimmy Gibbs is just a driver. That's like saying the girl on the bridge is just a little pretty. You know what I like best about your stories, Alice? The sound they make when they stop. And of course, Nick, the former con man gambler that's whiny, sarcastic, and never impressed by anything ever. But don't let his harsh demeanor fool you, because underneath that fistful of rings and $3,000 suit, he's a real piece of shit. <laughs> hey, I run into the three people in Georgia not carrying a gun. With these four, you'll be fighting your way through the South after every possible lifeline that can save you, including helicopters, boats, and bridges, with plenty of safe rooms along the way. I'm so, like, that's what I, I knew about that. I knew about, like, the these four. I'm very curious to see how he incorporates the mods in, because that's... The story is what I'm interested in, uh, ultimately. But, right now with this guy and like I, what I know he's capable of. And I didn't realize that this game was like a multiplayer, like I, for whatever reason, I just thought it was a contained game, like a lot of other zombie games are. So I'm, I don't know why I didn't realize it was a multiplayer like experience, which is really cool. So I'm again, really excited to find out how his mods are incorporated. I'm telling you for the last goddamn time, lower the goddamn bridge. You greasy vest wearing monkey. And if you really want to get fucking fancy pants tacked, we don't have time for this shit. All right, fine. So, how does a reasonable story like this suddenly involve goofy, unrelated shit? Yes. Like shooting tell me, tell me, tell me. Or Iron Man whipping out a Glock 19. I'd still like to think that when Iron Man runs out of all munitions, he just pulls out a Glock 19. <laughs> <laughs> Mods. Basically just mods, but if we're getting technical, the workshop, because in your yes. average horse- Yes, tell me how you're done. This is excellent. This, this is exactly what I was just asking for. I need to like, remember that whenever I ask for something from him, he always delivers it literally moments after I say it. Like seriously, every single video that I've seen from him, like the second I say, I wonder how he does this, I wonder what this is, he, do he just does it immediately. It's like, wait, I need to just let him speak his piece. As I now continue to blabble on about my piece, it's fine. Or shooter, it would take a shit ton of work to swap out one of the main characters for someone like Arthur Morgan. Yeah, oh, oh, just the fact that Rochelle is like mini Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Where's our money? I don't speak German either. Everybody gangsta till Arthur Morgan starts fanning Thanos with a Winchester. <laughs> Smokes <laughs> 12 packs of cigars <laughs> to build up dead <laughs> But since this is a Valve game on the Source engine, it has access to this wonderful thing Yay. called the Workshop, which allows you to add maps, weapons, characters, or any other mod you want. Okay. Hell, the model I'm wearing right now is from the Source Filmmaker Workshop, and so is this, and so is this. You want both your fists to suddenly turn into loaves of bread? Bang! Straight off the no. Workshop. And I'm not gonna say that everything on the Workshop is a good idea, but God damn it, is it ever frictionless to equip? Why the fuck would you want Hitomi from Dead or Alive 5 as Francis? <laughs> and once you start clicking this button, you can't stop clicking this button. With Rochelle, Coach, Ellis, and Nick transforming into Pickless Cage, Battletoad, Doomslayer, and Isaac Clark before you know okay. it. Okay. My nefarious shit. <laughs>
<laughs> you have to be green. You must be green to be in this squad. <laughs> what bro? I? I'm, I'm a bro, toad. You're a battle toad. I'm battle toad. <laughs> Thanks, Pickless Kid. <laughs> you're welcome, citizen. <laughs> I think you get the mod situation now. Me click green button, me turn thing that looks like this okay. into thing that looks like this. Cool. Fucking brilliant. Let's move on to the bad guys, because no matter what they look like, and no matter what you look like, you're still gonna need to kill them if you hope to survive. You're cloaker. Oh, please! Oh, I got him in the wall! What the f Dallas came up swim. from the depths nice. and punched him into outer ah. space. The horde comes first because they are everywhere all the time. And I know a single zombie isn't scary, but you're facing hundreds per chapter and thousands per campaign. Ugh. I don't care if it's cheeseburgers, coaches, or regular ass plain Jane zombies, a thousand of almost anything is terrifying. Hamburgers? Oh, <laughs> oh, you gotta chill. Hello, yes, Gabe Newell. I would like to turn your game into a fucking hodgepodge of whatever I think of. <laughs> Out of my way, coach. You too, Shrek. My friends call me coach. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Weakness other than chainsaws. The Mossberg 680 for modern warfare. Okay. Infected are where it gets interesting. Oh, that's fun too because you can uh bring in other. I guess uh, you could bring in other guns that actually work really, really well. That's cool. Also, he's just started mentioning about the special infected, and I remember some stuff from the the trailer that I saw and they freaked me out and really confused me some of those special infected things because I was like that does not register with me and like no zombie thing I've ever seen of has like the zombies that can just like unhinge their jaws and spit acid with like ugh that was disgusting anyway okay sorry I, I do want to see how he handles this because unlike basic ass regular zombies that are dumber than dirt, these guys can pin you. And please, Games Workshop, please, Ugh. please, please, don't sue me for making this joke, but uh... Brother, I am pinned here! This means that once they've grabbed a hold of you, they aren't letting go until either a teammate saves you or you're down on the ground bleeding to death. Ugh. And although all four special infected do the same thing, they've each got a unique technique. <laughs> you hear that jingle? I happen to prefer the piano version myself. That means a hunter is nearby, Ooh. a hoodie wearing Superman that can leap over buildings and into your ribcage in a single bound. He's by far my favorite. <laughs> Oh my god. No, but he's super squishy and loves making loud noises before and during his jump. So no matter if it's a cloaker, Elmo, Kermit the Frog, or Chuck E. Cheese, you'll hear him coming. Bam. Oh my god, that's so scary. I got this, bro. Watch this. Good no one. Problems. Good one. Bro, I've been up and down long all game, my guy. Tickle that, Elmo. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna die alone. Yes. <laughs> Oh my, this that sound. Thanks, Spider-Man from PlayStation 1. <laughs> Look who the hunter is. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Charles Entertainment Cheese. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Make that is Santa Carlson. Oh, no, get, get, get me off of Siren Head, please. <laughs> Thanks, Batman. You too, Santa. You really are a true friend. That's not my. See, this is the way to play this game if you don't want nightmares. Maybe. Yes. No. No, I think you would still get nightmares. I mean, that's Oscar on Twitter. He calls him Charles Entertainment Cheese instead of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Bro, it is Charles the Entertainment Cheese the third. The first brother died in the war. Put some respect <laughs> on his name. It's Charles Entertainment Cheese. I'm going to melee you. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm a genius. Oh, no. The smoker is far less intimidating, which may explain why I've got hours of badass hunter footage and like 10 seconds of smoker footage. You see, even his jingle sucks, but I guess that fits because slurping is sort of his thing. He wraps Ugh, you up it's so gross. Ass tongue and reels you in from a distance, Japanese Spider-Man style. No, I'm getting smoked. No, 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 Bing, Bing, right click me, right click me. Smoke. No, it's it's, it's Japanese Spider-Man was pulling <laughs> PS1 Spider-Man from Neverstar. It's literally the meme of the two Spider-Man pointing at yes, each other. Yes, literally the meme. Getting a little more in your face, jockeys will hop on your back and ride you like Sea Biscuit, wrangling you in any direction they want, which makes them. A real bitch to get off. See, I went hog monkey on that. That was the thing I thought of, but I like a, I like the horse riding joke too. But he's especially gross. easy to hear with his never-ending maniacal laughter, which is why I usually make him the green. See, hog monkey. I was right. Green goblin. You're boring me, Spider-Man. Jockey. 
There you go. I'll get you, Spider-Man. Chargers are the 10th prestige veterans of beating their meat, with right arms the size of tree trunks, ready to rock you like a freight train and smash you in a ground chuck. Once Ooh, they come to stop. tiny other little arm. Ooh. Your teammates aren't safe either, because even if he's grabbing somebody else, he can still truck other survivors backwards while sending his main target into a wall, Ooh. off a ledge, or screaming off a bridge. So it's best to avoid his hummel, like what I would do to a sandwich if I really wanted to get it in my mouth fast. You know what I mean? I don't actually pummel sandwiches. Badger's like a wood chipper for fucking Subway sandwiches. <laughs> Badger legitimately oh. goes Yo! into Subway. Get him. I got him. him. I, oh got God. Him. I come into a room, I see an illuminated dog no. on Donkey Kong beating the meat off of me. <laughs> Bridge, right? Oh, you're off the bridge, oh Spider-Man! Oh my god! Use your webs! Oh, I heard him! Oh my god! <laughs> No so scary as shit. These four pinning special infected are supported by boomers, these bile-filled balloon zombies ready to vomit all over Ugh. you or explode upon death. Ugh. Leaving you partially blinded and a mouth-watering target for a horde of Ugh, zombies. Gross. So if you happen to see Otis from Barnyard, make sure you blast his ass from a distance. Oh my god, it's Otis! Show yourself, you coward. I'm gonna set you on fire. You have an M4 Asimov. <laughs> Otis, come back here. He Otis! Whoa. <laughs> That's not even fair! He can climb too? He's like that... Ugh, and he can climb also? Oh no! I'm against it. I'm against it. On principle. <laughs> I killed him with a Minware Asimov M4, as God intended. Hearing the dozens of boomer voice lines from the survivors in our modern political climate never gets old. This game truly was ahead of its time. We got a boomer! Oh man! That sounds like a boomer! Leave it alone, leave it alone. Just leave look, it alone. I'm just looking. Leave it alone. Just like being at the zoo. Oh, it's an exhibit. What? We have it for you. <laughs> <laughs> about around to go. Nice. Oh, oh no. I, would I had the Smith & Wesson 500 bone crusher. Of course I was gonna do it. God damn it. God damn Fair. it. Fair. You can't just put Otis from Barnyard on the other side of some glass and a Smith & Wesson 500 bone crusher in my hands. <laughs> Not expect me to blow his That was, that that was literally, literally <laughs> neuron activation. <laughs> Spitters are the other support Ugh, special No, I hate them. basically em. spit Mountain Dew Molotovs and noxious acid at you and are definitely difficult to hear but have the most memorable tune. And they also have a tendency to crash my game anytime I try to mob them. So for some weird reason, you were specifically excited about me blasting spitters in the mouth? I've got some bad news. Four specials that can pin you, supported by two specials that can impair you, are rounded out by two boss special infected that are on opposite ends of the spectrum. The witch is a teeny tiny crying woman that can insta down you if you disturb her with damaged light or even prolonged eye contact. So either nuke her ass into oblivion with a flurry of damage or Yikes. leave her alone. Wanna watch me fucking crown this witch real quick? Yes, watch this yes, one. I'll turn my flashlight off. Chocolate. Ain't no thing. <laughs> yeah, you ready? You ready? Oh, oh, or just... Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, you just cut her in half. I can't believe that Arkham Knight just cut off Donald Duck's head with a chainsaw. It's fucking nuts. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> and on the other hand, the tank, who unlike the witch, cannot be ignored. With such hulking strength, he can tear concrete out of the ground and throw it at you, slap you hundreds Ugh. of feet off terrain, and normally takes a whole team to kill. Oh no, oh no, I don't want any part of that. Nope. He wants his Robux, Batman, he wants his Robux. Ugh. Oh god. This thing is fucked, right? There's literally no idea. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's not very cool. <laughs> nine nightmares don't sound like fun, but the weapons you have to obliterate them definitely- See, that is better. Like, the fact that you can, like, turn them into, like, that Lego guy or, like, a, a sumo floppy dude from, uh, like, the, the tube guy. Um, you know, that might make things a little bit better for certain people playing, playing video games that aren't, aren't great with scary stuff most of the time.
exactly are. Ranging from silly shit to deadly shit to silly deadly shit. There is nothing wrong with my AK, that's your monitor. Fuck you. Throwables are a great place to start, with pipe bombs, molotovs, and boomer bile that can get you out of a jam and kill dozens in a single click. Though mine usually look like chickens, white monster, or mollies from CSGO. Throwing fire! Just go, bro, just leave Alright, I'm mauling mid. Oh god, pipe bomb. It's a fucking <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No. Chicken. I just want the chicken. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a monster down there. I mean an actual monster, not not the big not giant monster. Not Donkey Kong. Like the monster energy drink. Go, Go get the monster doom guy. I, I trust oh. you. I got this, bro. Hey, yo, Donkey call me Kong. <laughs> I'm an amphibian. Cowabunga! <laughs> Oh, there's a smoker. No fucking way! No way! Oh my god, into a spitter. Fuck this stupid fucking game. He's an amphibian. Wow. He needs to keep moist. Yes, with the ultimate liquid that provides moisture. Melee secondaries are available, and I know it may sound foolish to use anything but firearms in a zombie apocalypse, like, duh, Glock 17, go bang, bang. But these things are a godsend while you're surrounded. You won't friendly fire your teammates, which is a gigantic problem, Ooh. by the way. Ugh. You do that again, and I will bury you alive. And the mods are top notch. Like, you mean nice. to tell me that you don't want to kill zombies with a hyper beast karambit alongside Batman carrying a literal. Yes! Give me a fucking break. Alright, this seems like a good second. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, I got him with the karambit. <laughs> oh, another one. Another one. No one's safe. I hear Shrek. I'm getting him. Do you have a lightsaber, though? Like that? You mean you've got, like, the. Energy sword from Halo. Do we have a lightsaber? That is what I need to know. With a karambit. Does that sound good to you? <laughs> Pickle his cage with the karambit. What will he do? You oh like, no. Right? Way to go. What won't he do? <laughs> Batman with a baseball bat. Couldn't have Get done him. it without you. They Get don't him. call me Batman for nothing. But the ultimate secondary has to be the Magnum pistol, which is technically a Desert Eagle that I reskinned as a Smith & Wesson 500 bone collector that I mistakenly called a bone crusher like a fucking moron but whatever any secondary with an eight round capacity that can one shot any common infected on any difficulty always has a Ooh. place in my waistband oh it's the smith and wesson smith and wesson 500 bone crusher or whatever it's called oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. yo get yoshi bye ah! i got him with the 500 magnum i can't believe we shot yoshi <laughs> with the smith and wesson 500 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why did y'all execute Yoshi like that? <laughs> <laughs> Back for him to put me down nicely. <laughs> And primaries are totally off the rails because even without mods, there's SMGs, pump shotties, auto shotties, assault rifles, battle rifles, grenade launchers, machine guns, dog. They've got the sniper rifles from CSGO and Source. What else do you want? Counter terrorists win. The best of the best. And with mods, anything is possible. Virtually anything. We're talking AA12, ACR, and M82. So wait, just, I know this is more about the mods right now, but is this also a game where like the military is actively trying Trying to kill you as well because like there's a lot I know there's a lot of those zombie games like that where you're trying to get to safety but the military is actively trying to kill you not just considering you collateral damage just based on that like little interaction just there I was just wondering Barrett from Modern Warfare 2. I don't know how many of you remember 2009, but I'm pretty sure the ACR killed more people than car accidents that year. Rangers lead the way. Come here Larry. Oh, Oh, you ran into a fire hydrant, you fucking moron. <laughs> Idiot. Modern Warfare 2 ACR? It has such a loud sound. Oh, that's scary. You gotta move it. Otis, you rat bastard. Yo, Zoe with the Modern Warfare 2 M82 Barrett. Reloading. And that? isn't even that weird. When you can equip the shotgun from Doom 2 with authentic sound, melee, and reload animation. Oh my god. The guns from Modern Warfare 2 really isn't that weird. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Batman, for the friendly fire. I'll shoot that stupid fucking guinea pig for you. Guinea pig, guinea pig, guinea pig. Can I, can I, can I? Yeah, I hit him backwards, hell yeah. Very, very deep oh. double barrel shotgun. You would not believe how many shells I can fit in. Get him. 
Ice. Yeah. Weird is what I did to my grenade launcher by taking an M79 thumper and turning it into a Pepsi can firing abomination that is entirely propelled by men. That shit is weird. Yo, oh. I found it. Oh, check it out. It's a Pepsi launcher. It launches oh, Pepsi huh. cans with Mentos. Is Pepsi okay? <laughs> oh my god. It's Mentos into it. By the way, we were at this pizza place called Bojo's in Colorado with Goose. He asked for a rum and coke. She asked if rum and Pepsi was okay, and he had existential <laughs> prices at the table. Oh, it's Siren Head. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Evelyn, I'll get him off. Just wait. Just wait. Kaboom! <laughs> you Man, saved. You, I love that though. You saved Heavenly Father. I sorry. I just needed to point that out. That I did see that, and I find that very funny. Wow. Charles Entertainment Cheese got it. There it is. You found the propane tank. What you got there, Batman? Electro. I'm gonna hit the Voltorb. Voltorb, I'm sorry. Weird, it doesn't have to be weapons either, because pain pills and adrenaline shots <laughs> boosts, what like the health and speed can be turned into the most delicious drink on earth with the exception of Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. And I think you can guess what it is. Yes, I found the pills. You know what my pills are? This motherfucker. Yo, got they have me. physics! They have physics! Oh, that's they cool. Even jiggle around. Ah, uh, yes, Gabe Newell, I'd like to file a complaint. I was halfway through Dark Carnival when I whipped out my beans and a bunch of Zombie started pointing and laughing at me and said, this motherfucker eating beans. <laughs> Please, I would like to return your game right now. Is it, is it? You just say the word oh, beans and then chat just erupts with this motherfucker eating beans <laughs> like immediately. Beans aren't even the end of the shit posting because my- Was this like, with, were they playing this before or after the bean dad thing? Cause that was, that was the thing that happened. I don't know if anyone actually paid attention to that, but long story short, a semi-popular musician wrote a story on Twitter about how he let his daughter go hungry for hours because she couldn't figure out how to open the can of beans that she was trying to open. And he was saying that it was like for, you know, building character or something. But mostly people were like, she's nine and you didn't even show her how to use the can opener. Why not? So like that, he was bean dad for a while. I just don't know if that was like, before or after this chat apparently had a thing to say about the motherfucker eating beans. I knew details like your flashlight can be customized, which I would definitely not recommend. <laughs> what am I looking at? POV, you lost your schizophrenia <laughs> medication. Oh no. Oh my god, my cheems are <laughs> Tiny cheems, look at him. <laughs> but once you start equipping Among Us shit, it's the beginning of the end. Like, we made our health kits into a mini Amogus, and there was no recovering from that. Amogus. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Amogus? Uh, shut the fuck. <laughs> Through my incredibly high tolerance for dipshit mods, I managed to find some real gems in the workshop, including Sanic as a two-dimensional object. Oh my god, he's so thin! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has the text on Come it on, too! Step it up. Oh my god. God, Rochelle. PS1 Neversoft Spider-Man is cursed enough, yeah. but just seeing. Oh no. <laughs> She's. <laughs> Your leg. You limping. Oh my God. You limping is disgusting. <laughs> oh no. I'm injured. I need some help. You got a problem? I guess not. Battletoad is an obvious choice because much like my main man, Coach Gaming, not to be confused with regular Coach, <laughs> he has no neck. How the hell are zombies gonna bite you in the neck when you don't have one? Exactly. Top tier choice. It's Coach Gaming. <laughs> This used to be a nice neighborhood. Good thing I got my main man to back me up, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hey! <laughs> eyes and his neck are so good, Chad. What do you mean his eyes are good, bro? He is soulless. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Toad woke up this morning and chose violence. There came a point where my I mean, it is Battle Toad. I'm pretty sure he wakes up every morning and chooses violence. Skip posting Crusade ran so deep, and I had so many mods running that I accidentally made my squad the Payday Gang without any animations, and I mean any animations. Geronimo, 
motherfuckers! Down bag, caught in 4K. Oh my god! god. <laughs> what? Bye! What are you doing? <laughs> This is definitely what sleep paralysis is like. And chat says I'm down bad, bro. I'm not down bad. I'm a Cindy bitch. <laughs> Bane, I'm missing my textures. Bane, 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 Bane I didn't download Source. Bane, I'm stuck. Bane, what do you mean I need Gmod? That's how I revive you. What? You and I aren't so different, Badger. What am I looking at? You don't even swing. You don't even shoot. Oh running. my God! You just go. <laughs> like you're just slaughtering the entire hallway without moving. I mean, you're moving laterally, but that's it. That's it. Yeah, nothing happens. You are just standing there, spectating. Oh my God! Look at this dude. Look at him. Oh like, my like, God! What is happening over there? Dance party. <laughs> You are so wow. incredible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just fucking despawned. Because you don't have any animations. You just were like a static pose just flying through the air. Please don't tell me we are dying here, bro. I At least Ben is gonna make it. Just jump in, bro. Just go. There's no way the entire Payday gang died on the hospital. At the end, Heavenly even showed us what a Sigma male grind set looked like by single-handedly countering a smoker, killing a tank, fending off hundreds of cheeseburgers, and rescuing Noam Chomsky all at the same time. Alright, just say when. I'll start unloading. Oh my god! You know the best part? That wasn't even me. That was my stand. Oh, platinum! <laughs> Badger, I'm a Sigma male. I spent 6,000 hours on Left 4 Dead 2. I skipped prom. Sigma male became grind my, set. Became my own PE gym teacher. Turn that mindset into a grind set, Jimbo. Oh, shit! <laughs> Bye. Yo, oh, Sigma I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> Once again, the Sigma male's being brought down by the betas around him. Let's play the game called Jotaro abandons all of his comrades. Just go, yeah. just go, just I'm go. I'm a bit of a Sigma male. I told you. Oh, yeah. Bye! Bye. God, how did you get him? How did you get him? I'm at Chelsea! Yes! Oh my god, you killed the tank? Just jump! Jump two feet, you fucking idiot! Come no! Get it off me! <laughs> we all got the achievement too. I told y'all, Sigma male. <laughs> Damn, have you actually got 4,000 hours? Turn that mindset to a grind set, brother. And now, after experiencing that level of zombie killing skill, along with some of the dumbest, most brain dead, piece of shit mods that the workshop has to offer, I can finally say with complete confidence that Among Us is the worst. There is no meme. There is no joke. Making a survivor into an Amogus is despicable, and I'm glad he got repeatedly two killed by the Doom Slayer. I'm genuinely happy about it. Oh, happy. why are you I'm so okay. small? <laughs> Get away from me. Oh, Get no. Away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from They're so big. Why are they Germa? What the fuck? Why do you have an MP40? Why don't you? Yo, yo, get him, Mickey, get him! <laughs> get him out of the ground! I live, bitch. <laughs> Come get this uh, bang. Come get this bang energy. <laughs> Why are you so fast? <laughs> I got him. What are you doing to that AK? Whatever I need to back away from your ass. No, <laughs> don't do no that. Problem. This is so terrifying. Who let you grab that? I'll fucking do it again. Oh no! A fat ass, Mickey. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't like that at all. Mickey, I fucking hate you. Yeah. <laughs> He's just zooming around. Too. I just want you to know I hate you. Do you know that something's wrong when Isaac Clark with an M1 Garand, a chicken, and a 1911 from Modern Warfare is the least weird thing that you're seeing in this game? Why are you looking at the bean like that? You are just so intimidating. <laughs> 
Oh, left. don't worry, young one. I'll retrieve you. I owe you my life. I want you to know that Left 4 Dead 2 is an incredible game on its own without a single mod that I highly recommend you play even if you don't have friends. Even if you're just playing with AI, it's still plenty worth it. Yeah, look, Ellis, all women are emotional wrecks who will eventually kill you, okay? Oh, shut up, Nick. What you saw here today is a completely warped Maybe. version of the game because my brain just isn't capable of modding responsibly. <laughs> Most players build mods into the game to slightly enhance the experience, and I just can't do that. I was trying to make a version of Left 4 Dead 2 that was built different, and I ended up just making something that was built stupid. I'm just built alternatively. Constructed alternative. <laughs> Constructed in an unorthodox fashion. Built stupid. Crafted without the preset parameters. Y'all built different. I'm built incorrectly. <laughs> I'm just wrong in every way. <laughs> I should not exist. I should not exist. <laughs> That's about it. I'd like to thank you so very much for watching. Please be sure to check out Left 4 Dead 2 if you're at all interested and be sure to tune in next time when we revive Yoshi with Narcan. Just kidding. All the Narcan in the world is not going to save you from a round out of a Smith & Wesson 500. It's just not going to happen. Even if you are a fucking dinosaur. All right. Excellent. Once again, I, I like Russian Badger's videos. I find them very fun. His skill with the mods is always highly entertaining. I'm always surprised that there's as many like multiplayer internet games as there is. I never expect there to be like I never expect it. I don't know why I never expect it. It's just not really on my radar as part of a gaming experience that exists. I am much more uh, familiar with like the single player or double player games where you know you sit on a. If you're me, you sit on a couch and you watch your friend play and you point out where there are shiny things um, and collectibles and give ideas about how to use a flamethrower. But that's, <laughs> I just, I just don't ever like think about it being multiplayer on the internet for some reason. I will get over that and so at some point. But until then, I will always just remain absolutely enthralled by uh, by Russian badgers mods and the nonsense that he and his friends get up to. It's always entertaining. Uh, so that was built different, built stupid by Russian Badger, focusing in on the game Left 4 Dead 2. I would love to hear more about the lore of this particular game, of this particular universe. I might actually try and play this game at some point myself, but again, by myself, just with AI, because I have not the skill to do team anythings. Um, Thanks again for watching, everybody. Make sure that you do like, comment, and subscribe. We love to hear from you. We like to hear your feedback. And if I'm being an idiot in any kind of way, don't be afraid to tell me. I know it's probably true. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Make sure you check out our other channel as well. And check us out live on Twitch every single day of the week. Thanks again. Bye.